um, template file. Uh, I'm going to do that by adding the JavaScript file to the jQuery. Uh, before this, I had the JavaScript file added using head link script. Uh, this time, I want to add it uh, to the jQuery uh, method instead so that it shows up at the appropriate place, not all the way up here, uh, but just before the jQuery is introduced. Uh, this is important for a number of reasons. First, uh, is that you don't want to run into danger of having some jQuery defined functions um, before the jQuery is actually being included. So I'm going to put it in here. So I'm adding the JavaScript file to the jQuery block in the HTML page. And actually I could have put this right here. And that would be fine. And you might want to do that if your JavaScript file contains functions that are going to be used by every single page in your project. But in this case, uh, this file is only useful for this one page and therefore I'm not going to waste the resources and include it globally uh, but just at my list. So now I can take this out and let's see where did it put it this time. Okay, so it puts it neatly after the jQuery stuff. And with that, I'm ready to edit the frontend JS. Okay, so I don't want this to turn into a jQuery tutorial. Uh, so the most I will do is show you only the uh, functions that are directly relevant to the Zen framework in integration. And what we need to fix is the fact that when we navigate through our links, like and, beginning and so on, the next and the previous link will now uh, have to be adjusted accordingly. So for example, when I'm in the beginning, the next link is 2. When I'm on page uh, 2, the next link becomes 3. When I'm in the end, the previous link becomes 2 and so on. So uh, the attribute for the previous and the next constantly change and uh, jQuery is going to help us do that but uh, before that it uh, needs to know where we are in this pagination and so to help jQuery understand the position of the data uh, we're going to go into our library controller and where we have the paginator uh, being passed to the view if it is a non XML HTTP request. If it is an XML HTTP request, I would like jQuery to know where it actually is in this range of data. Uh, so I'm going to assign a variable to the view called current page and I am going to get the current page from the paginator get current page number and with that jQuery knows where it is uh, we need to pick that up in the front end uh, remember it's part of JSON so we pick it up using JSON accordingly remember the response contains all adjacent data. The books one is an array and now this um, current page is a new variable. So all we have to do is to 
grab it using response dot current page okay obviously this makes no sense the way I put it and um, what I'm going to do now is to create a function that adjusts the page link address of the next and previous uh, now how am I going to do that um, this is where I can take advantage of custom attributes of HTML and JavaScript um, in my in my pagination I am going to add an attribute to the a tag called page and I'm going to set some default data so that it doesn't look empty on the first visit of the list okay this is just uh, some dummy data for it to not look all empty uh, I could have left it blank So obviously this is not a valid HTML um, attribute, but with the ability of jQuery to pick up custom attributes, we can do the job. So. Um, I'm going to call this update page links so that every time the request is completed the next and the previous links are updated and this function will take the page uh, from the Zend controller as a parameter so I am querying for the previous link and this is where I'm changing attribute I just set and the previous link is going to be one less than we are currently at and the next link will always be one more where we are currently at okay um, and now I'm going to call this function every time the Ajax request is successfully completed. So, uh, what's happening here is that when I execute the JSON request, the Zen framework, it's going to give me this whole JSON response with the books and all the data as well as the current page uh, so that the jQuery knows where it's at and it's going to pass the current page as the parameter to the update page links which is going to update the next and previous links.